Well, I think the basic thing that Europe can learn from the rest of the world is that we are not the center of the world. And, uh, uh, and therefore, that uh, uh, ironically, but the first thing that we can learn is that we have a lot to learn and uh, not only teach and uh, convert. And uh, also, uh, what we learn uh, is uh, well, what we what we look like from the point of view of the people who were colonized, from the people, from the point of view of the people that we invaded, and that uh, I was just recently reading the. Uh, uh, Roger Casement's report on Congo, and then his report on Putumayo in, in the early 1910s. And he describes how the, uh, the genocidal policies uh, put into action in Congo or in uh, Peru to extract um, uh, caoutchouc to extract uh, the latex to make uh, to make rubber from rubber trees. Now all our civilization runs on rubber tires, and one thing we can learn is the kind of genocide on which our modernity uh, was founded, which is a story that we never tell ourselves. So this is one thing, and then of course the other thing is. Uh, our scale of values, our, is, is our vision of the world, is not the only one that exists. It's not necessarily worse than others, but it's, uh, uh, because you know, if we say uh, everybody is good except us, that's very ethnocentric. But um, it's not superior or anything. It's not the point. To, uh, the uh, the culmination of human history. Human history is. Uh, it's very, very diverse, and uh, so, so that you know, the the way in which the Western people were perceived when we invaded the Third World, the rest of the world. Uh, ultimately, we're not finished with this. Uh, there's a passage in uh, the autobiography of uh, Olaude Quiano. Uh, Olaude Quiano is the author of the first very important slave narrative. And he talks about how uh, he was, he encountered Europeans uh, when he was sold as a slave. And he says, I was afraid that I would be eaten by these red-faced ghosts. So number one, we learn we're not white. <laughs> number two, we think that they're cannibals. They think we're cannibals. And uh, and also this idea that white people have no skin. Tony Morrison describes, uh, writes, you know, about the man without skin, that we're ghosts. And uh, which is exactly the counterpart of our idea that because they're black, they're bodies. Yeah? And uh, we're transparent in their in their darkness.